Yo! Video games. See, my weeb phase now is I don't watch anime. My dark weeb phase was like, I'd watch any anime. Let's just play. The timing of this is really hard. Okay, I got you. And I don't have like a PlayStation controller. I mean, we, can put in, uh, we can put in some Virtual Fighter. And then Five. JJ, yeah. No, the, the one that has Five. The, yeah, no, the, 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 the special one. You just want that because I don't have my lane. What does it matter? <laughs> yeah. well, we, we played all the other ones so much. Zack and Cody, yeah, a little bit. But my god, some of the stuff, it was extra horny in those shows. The only thing I know from modern day Nickelodeon is Cory in the house. Cory in the house. Because apparently that's an anime. The best anime. Or so the meme goes. That's Disney? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, bro. They all, all these live action tween shows all look the same to me. Well, they're, they're just so bad now, man. I'm pulling the block button, but fuck it. But fuck it. Even the memes are old. Yeah, well, whatever. There's that one show that has like the little, the, the, the Indian kid and he's... Oh, he seems like he's like the butt of a lot of jokes. He's like, oh, yes, what that thing? You know, like... My groaning's a poo, young a poo. Is that what it is? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's just like this, you know, like the nerdiest kid. Like that one, like that one's just, man, yeah, but... I don't know about that one. You know, he's basic. It's oh my god! It's the kid version of um, of that nerd show chat. The Jesse show is basically the 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 the, the pre tween version of um, that nerd show. With you know, that, what's that nerd show? Fucking, it's awful. Big Bang Theory. Yes, that show is the 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 pre teen of Big Bang Theory, which was like the most unfunny show ever. Oh. That's Ready? great. That's great for babies sleeping. <laughs> the loudest dog in the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what would be, be good for a sleeping baby? The loudest dog ever. So hard to use like both triggers to do shit. I'm a jerk. Ain't playing injustice over here. No, I'm I stopped. I shouldn't have stopped. So chat, what was your favorite live action Disney show? <laughs> <laughs> Was, were pretty decent. Yeah, I agree with Dinosaurs, even though that was ABC technically, it wasn't Disney. Dinosaurs was the best live action Disney show. I agree. Whoever's the Dinosaurs, that guy's right. Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh man, you missed the show. One of the. They had a nice improv comedy magic show. Can you tell me what. What's that? Wasn't that. What's that one. She's not here to defend himself, but. Was that one sitcom. That Disney or Nickelodeon Steve's in love with the character? Yeah, Raven. Raven. That's a Raven. Yeah. Well, can you explain this to me? Uh, she's thick. I guess Steve, you know, thinks she's like the little queen of thick. That's Raven. Raven's right. mom. Jesus, thank you. That's so thick. Like, those Disney shows were good, but they weren't as good as um, Drake and Josh and uh, iCarly. I've never seen the show, wow. so I can't really make 
Oh, who is that? I think that was the female rain or female uh, canary. Yeah. I'm more curious. Like, where, how how did Steve even find out about this person? Like, where was Rip, Steve watching like like Raven Disney Simone, Channel no, stuff? Raven Simone's been around for a long time. She, uh, she had like a like a career when she was very younger. I think she was like singing and like, other shows and stuff. Okay. Raven Simone once came to my junior high. Pete and Pete, that's the oh, best that's, line. Actually. Yeah, that's one of the best. That's one of the best. Yeah, even yeah, she was even in the Cosby Show. Yeah. Now, now I just feel bad for her. Great Josh and I, Carly, up top, yeah. You never like Pete and Pete? Then you need to go to sleep. It's way past your bedtime. Pete and Pete was a vibe, bro. It, yeah, was, was. it was a hell of a vibe. <laughs> Absolutely. It was like late at night. Definition just, of a vibe. Yeah, like a weird, just goofy show. It was the ultimate vibe show. The show felt like it was like a comfortable Halloween, like just kind of vibe. Man. Weird, man. It was yeah. like... like it was like David Lynch for kids or something. <laughs> and honestly, like, yeah, like... Guts. Yeah, it's de and Pete and Pete is definitely a Y7 David Lynch, more or less. Ooh, sick. Damn. Alright, oh, Afraid uh, of the Dark? I don't know what happened in that. Chad, what was better? Afraid of the Dark or Goosebumps? Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you're afraid of the dark. Uh, I, I, I'll have to, I'd have to defer to Nadia on that one. <laughs> right? You have to call. Like, You'll have to phone, phone the wife. I'm like, wait a minute, which one's better? Are you afraid of the dark or goosebumps? <laughs> I have to defer to her on that one. Right? Yeah. Give her a text. <laughs> you might be asleep. Pete and Pete's all on YouTube? Whoa! Funny. Is it awesome? Goosebumps, I'm not scary. Goosebumps are just funny. I think Afraid of the Dark was a little darker. You know, show was surprisingly not that scary. It was more like sex, sex sexual than scary. It was uh, Crypt Keeper. Wow, I was not expecting Crypt Keeper to come out of that. A little bit. Crypt Keeper sexual. Kenny got a thing for old skeletons. No, well, not, well, not the Crypt Keeper himself, but a lot of the episodes. They weren't like. They weren't, yeah, Tales from the Crypt were just, like, more weird. You know what Tales from the Crypt was? Tales from the Crypt was Black, Black Mirror before Black Mirror. Yeah, Tales from the Crypt, like, if you watch the HBO stuff, they were more of Black Mirror than, like, a spooky story with, like, ghosts and shit. It was, like, you know, like, this, yeah, alternate timeline zone. Right? There, there wasn't that many episodes with, like, you know, they were, like, maybe, like, cannibals or, yeah, they were freaky stories. Like... Like, you know, you go to, like, Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark, and they were kind of, like, more ghosty stories. It's Twilight Zone. Yeah, you're goddamn right. You're not wrong. Damn. Is this one where Santa flies by the moon? Mm, I mean, it does, but not in this version because this is like the trilogy version where they added all these stars and like no clouds. Look at this is an alternate version of the pit one. Bell, bell, bell. Oh, 
Elvira. I remember an Elvira show, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Elvira woke something up in this boy the early. Of the dark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Elvira I'm noticing a pattern up. here. <laughs> blame Elvira. <laughs> blame Elvira. Oh, Elvira is to blame. <laughs> Elvira is to blame. You want to know why Kenny's the way he is? Blame Elvira. I got to meet Cassandra Peterson once. Very nice. R.I.P. I don't think she's dead. No. She was just in that Munsters movie with the Rob Zombie one. I got to share a billboard, a billboard with her. You might see we're on the same billboard, so it technically means we're like dating. She is alive and gay. Okay, I'm glad we <laughs> alive and gay. Alive and gay. <laughs> what? Having a great time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, man, as a kid, her show came on. Oh boy. Jetstream, are you there? <laughs> Are you there, Jetstream? <laughs> that just means she likes what I like! <laughs> Holy horse. Damn, bro! Oh! Yo! That was sick. <laughs> you know what did it to me, chat? It was goddamn 80s and 90s, dude. I had goddamn Elvira. I had, um... Scarlet. Not Scarlet, oh, actually. Sorry. Oh boy. Let's go. Baroness, bro. I had Baroness. Baroness. Um, Elvira. You know, then shows like um, Monsters and stuff like that. G.I. Joe? Yeah, Baroness. Yeah, she was huge. Mm -hmm. black, jet black hair, uh, <clears throat> glasses, like tight leather. Ooh. Those things. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame <laughs> 80s and Don't 90s TV. Don't blame me. <laughs> Don't, Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. Donkey Kong Death. Dude, what a great yeah. Game. Like, there was that, like, uh, then in the 90s. I know what Baroness looks like. Wednesday, Bless, thank I you. I vaguely remember. No, I say Wednesday Joe. Adams, but I was a young kid when that, you know, when that Wednesday, when that, you know, first Adams family came out. So. Do, 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 do. Kenny wanted, Kenny wanted to be the, the, uh, the other, the nerdy kid in part Oh, two. yeah. <laughs> You like your tattoo sleeve? Yo, Ghost Cross, we could be homies. I can almost read what it says. Lily Monster Wednesday Morti- This man is a man of impeccable class, bro. Tweet that at me. <laughs> I wanna see that tat, that's insane, that's sick. This man is, you know, just like me. Cause yeah. And you know what's funny? Like, everyone was like, loving Ginger, and like, I was a Marianne. I was Nobody a Marianne actually girl. liked everyone- oh, Whatever, this is a dumb argument. There's a lot of people that like Ginger. But bro, I was Mary Ann. Don't say what it's from, because half the chat, more, the, I'm gonna say 75% of the chat has no idea what we mean when we say, well, we like, we like Mary Ann more than Ginger or whatever. I mean, there's gonna be a lot. Uh, I have a tad, it's the MK Dragon. Say, so don't say what it's from! <laughs> 
See, chat, like those shows are going to die because nowadays kids watch whatever the heck they want because of like um, DVR. They weren't forced to watch that shit. Yeah. So there was we, nothing else on. Yeah, we were forced to watch um, Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's shit. Island. Um, I mean, I love Lucy, and I it wasn't really forced. I preferred because, Gilligan's to a lot of the other boomer shows. Yeah. The thing is, we weren't forced because like, well, you watch it, like, yo, this is really good. You know, like these shows were great. I like Gilligan's Island, and I like Mr. Ed. Yeah, Mr. Ed. I, like, I didn't uh, like Mash. I, no, Mash is boring. My, my my fucking parents still watch Mash. Yeah, Mash is. You like still like recording stuff, mm -hmm. my fucking boomers. <laughs> Green Acres. I watched Green Acres with, with uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor. But wasn't her like her cousin? Like wasn't there two Zsa Zsa's? Yeah, Ava. Ava and, Ava and Zsa Zsa. Yeah, Chad. But like, you know, like you you had to watch what was on when you were a kid. So like those shows will. You're gonna make it after all. Like, that those ring, yeah, those that ring a bell for you? Yeah. <laughs> Remember what show? Uh, Mary Tyler Moore. Dang, Kenny. I didn't Kenny. watch it. Nah, I didn't. I well, my mom did, so I, that's the only reason I know the song. Yeah, I would make it. Like I'd probably make it to the intro. Yeah. That was about it. Nanu, yeah, Nanu. Lord and Shirley. Yeah, hey, Chad. Like yeah. Hey, like nowadays. You know, no, no, no. The thing is, it's going to die. With, like these shows will die with Gen X. Like maybe some like people who pass it on to their kids. Here's here's an old. I'm pretty sure I can't say that the name of that show and not get canceled anymore. <laughs> Dick Van Kites. <laughs> it's the Bleep Van Bleep show. Oh, you know what's wild? It's Dick. Oh no, Van. Okay, I was in, oh, I almost said Dam. Right? <laughs> Dam. Like, yeah, Dam and Dyke, which are almost like the same thing, right? I like the Dick Van Dyke show, but I like Dick Van Dyke. He's still with us. And I hope so. He's a national fucking treasure. Another fucking treasure, and I hope he stays with us for at least another 20, 30 years. My buddy got to dance with him at Disney. God damn. Yeah. You got to dance with him. I saw an interview with him. He's like 95 and he's like spry. Yeah. And spry. Yeah. yeah. He's like, eh. Yeah. He's like, exercise is great. Bro, he just got he just got like a fender bender recently, like a month ago or something. I'm like, why are you driving? <laughs> Three reigns. So I took a picture and I'm like, yeah, you know, you got a little tiny little like thing, you know, when it was one of the rainy days or whatever. And I'm like, you, bro, you look just like like old man Banks. <laughs> from the end of that he, movie. He played that character. He did. Uh, and he, again. And that makeup artist was was a prophet. Yeah. Because he's got a beard now and it's just like... He's really similar looking. You look, this, you look just like him. and a cop. That is 97 years old. <laughs> is he alive and gay? No, he's not gay. He has grandkids and it's like biological grandkids and stuff. Damn. He's... I think okay, he's Max is getting married it. or been married or is married to a woman. Hey. Yeah, but he's gay. I don't believe so, no. Yeah, but he's a gay and like loving it. That's interesting. Did someone just quote all in the family? Jesus, man. Whoa. I think, like, when I retire, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna get myself a nice CRTV and, like, you know, just have, like, all these bunch of 70s and 80s shows and just watch them. You know what's scary is how much All in the Family still holds up. Yeah. There's this amazing episode where, um, uh, well, you know who the main character is. Yeah. He, um,. He's at the bar and everyone kind of hates this one guy who's like a he's like a traveling photographer. He just goes around the world, takes pictures, and and he has like an ascot, and everyone kind of like doesn't want to speak to him because they're like, oh, he's gay or whatever, right? And but like in the episode, the, the Archie's like infatuated with this guy who what used to be a linebacker and won all these games from football and blah blah blah, and like his son a lot tells him like you know that like you know for all the like you know you're you're putting down and you know looking down and you know uh, other people. 
your your big hero at the bar is gay. He's like, yeah, I'll get out of here. And he thinks he's totally... And like, at the end of the episode, he's just like, he's right, Arch. And he, <laughs> he's just like shell-shocked. Like the whole thing. I'm like, wait, this was the 70s. Yeah. This was the 1970s, and they were already trying to like... That show was way too far ahead of too its woke. time. Too woke. <laughs> way, were too woke. Way ahead of its time. Because these things have always been around. It's just that now they just really make people mad. For some reason. <laughs> Fifty years old. Shot. Archie Bunker stereo. Archie Bunker wasn't a stereotype. He was that was literally my yes. grandfather incarnate. Well dude, that's what family guys, you know, what's his face? What oh, was pretty much based <laughs> off, you know. Pretty goddamn true to life, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Pretty goddamn true. Al to Bundy life. before Al Bundy. <sighs> oh god! No, before the that guy walks, so I'll bro. There's an run. episode of All in the Family where he, the 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 the, the boomer ass dad, goes on TV because there was like a, an incident at, on like a plane or something. I think it's fictional. And he's like, hey, here's how here's how you solve the you know the problem with people getting on planes with guns. Um, everybody but on the plane with a gun before they get on. So the guy who wants to rob the plane won't be able to rob the plane. Like, Everyone has a gun. No one's gonna <laughs> shoot anybody. And I'm like, yes, like, they, they literally were, it was like, this, <laughs> nothing has changed. It's been 50 years, we've been stuck in a time loop. We're, we're in the endless now. Like, that is the plot of the, of the episode from 50 years ago. And a recovery there. This brought you over here to do a combo. How many times has it been now? How many times? Yeah, I gotta see that tattoo. That guy's uh, birds of a feather. I'll be over here recovering. Yeah. Damn. Holy horse. Good game. <sighs> He's a lovable. Archie is not a lovable jerk who is educated. He he is absolutely the embodiment of three three of three three. Three my, three three. my boomer yep. ass, my boomer ass parents standing up to their parents. <laughs> He's absolutely supposed to be a a dark reflection in the mirror. Ooh. 